Good morning. I'm still in my PJs. I need to change. But today I want to tell you the story when I went to Wisconsin for the EnduraFest and I towed Jacob 140 something miles. It was an amazing story. That's what I want to talk about today. Uh, we have our seasonal collection. So we'll have summer, winter, fall. Then maybe we do like a sweet tooth collection and it's like. So. The other thing is that, dude, the vlog of the warehouse just hit today. How many orders do we have as of a few hours after that vlog loaded? I think like 20 something. Tyler really needs to uh, plan his vlogs around my schedule. You got to place 20 some odd orders, like now. Yeah. So the lovely wife wasn't able to make it out to Wisconsin with me on this trip. She was there for the first one with Kayla. Now, when we came into this one, Kayla was unavailable to be my captain. We had to find a new person, and that was Jacob. Now, Jacob is non-audible. My favorite part, beside all the shenanigans we get into with my running friends, is that I am not looked for being different, but being an equal out on the course. Hi. All right, so the weather's not ideal, but that's okay. Uh, we're here with with Jacob and, uh, hanging out a little bit and so uh, are you excited about this yeah yeah good. we are gonna crush all righty so uh, minute one of 12 hours we've already got a little bit of help here I'm gonna need it here's one part of it is that um, Jacob has not completed 12 hours before I would really really want to be a part of the moment that he's able to do 12 hours so i'm really excited about it. i'm really looking forward to this the energy is high vibes are up I definitely forgot forgot how hard forgot how hard that was okay but we've got some help let's let's try to meet our help all right what's your name Andy Schultz what is your personal goal for today 100 miles okay if I can do 100 miles or more that'll be amazing awesome what's the longest ride you've ever done time-wise 60 miles I was really really fit for this one but you have to maintain 600 watts for 30 seconds over and over and over and over again. And I was so worried that if I can't do this, me and Jacob, we're going backwards and we're crashing and the headline's gonna be like, vegan cyclist hurts Jacob. Like, I didn't want that. So last year I was running a 52 in the front, 1146. Now I'm running a 5252. So I have a little more gears. It's like wild how fast this thing goes downhill or on the flats soon as you get on a climb <sighs> all right so the course is basically two pretty steep pitches like four to six hundred watts then you have like a gradual little climb then you have some flats and then you have some downhill so it's basically for 12 hours you're doing like 30 second to a minute intervals it's lovely you good back there, Jacob? Yeah! Yeah, yeah. dude! Yeah! Okay. yeah. Now, I'm extremely fit. I'm extremely competitive. Now, Jacob, I didn't know him very well, but this guy was just like the most competitive I've ever seen. And he never wanted to stop, ever. But around four hours, I'm like, Jacob, dude, I'm out of fluids. I'm out of food. Like, I, I'm dying here, but I'm just keeping that to myself. And then finally, he's like, 
I'm getting a little cold, I want a jacket. I'm like, all right, sweet, cool. We're gonna go, we're gonna hang out for like 30 minutes, I'm gonna be able to regroup, it's all gonna be good. You are crushing it, man. Give me some knuckles, boom, dude. All right, you are uh, outpacing me, so. He is just nonstop, man. Jacob takes like three minutes. He doesn't even get out of the chair. He just like throws on a blanket and he's like, you know, doing this, like, let's go. Rain, rain, go away. Just get spit on. It's gotta be way worse for Jacob. I'm fine with it if Jacob is fine with it, but I'm sure he's getting blasted by my rear tire. You good back there, Jacob? Yeah. All right, dude. Like, what a badass. What a legend. What's so crazy about this kind of experience is it just unlocks something different about your body. You know, if you're just riding for you, you can kind of make the excuses. You can, you're battling with yourself, but when you're working for a team, especially someone like Jacob, the feeling you get to help them is, it's wild. I don't feel my legs. I don't feel tired. I don't feel hungry, nothing. But as soon as 7 a.m. hits and we're done, your boy's swan diving into bed. Now the premise is 12 hours. Try to go as far as you can in 12 hours. The two guys that are with me, one who's never ridden more than 60 miles, and another guy who I would say is a like very casual rider, these guys all of a sudden leveled up 20X. They're pushing me so hard, they're not giving up, they're not taking breaks. I mean, no one is thinking about themselves. Everyone is thinking about Jacob and what we can do for Jacob and asking what Jacob wants to do. And if Jacob wants to ride, we're all riding. And so that leaning structure of everyone leaning on each other was so powerful. It's really hard to uh, explain just how hard it is to pull this thing up a 15% grade, dude. And I'm so worried every time we're not going to make it up and then we're just going to go tumbling down. And then there'll be the news, a news article about how I killed Jacob. <laughs> That's running through my head. So now around two or three in the morning, I'm dead. Right now, we have to have two guys pushing or else I'm going to kill Jacob. It's so, so hard. Literally, if I was by myself, I would have to be doing 800 to 900 watts, I'm not even joking, to not fall over. And so then you just try to do the math, right? Well, okay, so it, let's say 900 watts is the app, like what I have to do to just not fall over. So then let's get one guy pushing and he's doing let's say 300 watts, which is still a lot of watts, right? So that now if I get another guy to do 300 watts, okay, now we're all doing 300 watts. <laughs> okay, I'm almost done with this edit. My son has wanted to go riding motos for two weeks, it's been raining, we can't, and he texted me and he said, if there's any way you can come home before it gets dark, I'd love to go ride out on the lake with you on the pit bikes. He never texts me those things, he never asks me to do that. This is important, so I'm gonna crack this edit, get it done, I'm gonna jam home, ride with him until it's dark, come back here, ride Zwift, then we're gonna wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ride with Bubba's, okay? Love you.
So I want to segue this little experience into this story about Jacob, which is that if my son could not walk, uh, moto, you know, if he had an issue that he couldn't do the things he'd love to do, and he had an interest in doing them, the feeling I would have as a parent uh, for someone else spending their time and their energy to give my son an amazing experience would just fill me with such joy and love. So like when I look at the relationship with Jacob, I sort of look at it also as like I would want someone to do this for my kid if my kid was in that situation. And then it makes me very grateful that my kid isn't in that situation. But regardless, like I looked at it as almost if I was the father of Jacob, what would I want someone to do? And then it was just so easy to give it my all. I believe this will be the longest Jacob has ridden in uh, the cart. Last year he did not complete the full 12 hours and, and I'm so happy to have been a part of this. He has been fully focused on getting this done so much that he does never wants to take breaks. And so I've been in the hurt locker the whole time. All good, we got the sun coming up. We got our crew with us. Good times. This guy was at my cycling camp last year. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. This guy over here has never done a century. Wow. And you're at like wow. what, 115? Forty miles Woo! did not think that was gonna happen and I am telling you without the help of these legends nothing we're not even making a one lap Oh no, she's gone. <laughs> okay, we're back. Uh, I gotta jump on the trainer now for uh, a few hours, and then I gotta get home and eat. Today has been so much. Um, that looks like... A cat! Oh, nice.
Oh yeah, buddy. I had someone comment and they said, why are you tracking calories? As, as if it was a negative thing. So I just want to talk a little bit about why I'm counting calories. One, my training volume this year is lower than years past. I don't want to be chasing losing weight on season. The other thing is that I want a six pack. I've never really wanted that before, but I'm irritated with how much I train and how much I exercise and how insecure I feel of my body. I want to go to the beach and just be like, you yeah, And so I hit up a few of my bodybuilding friends because I've got a many of them. They just said, get one gram of protein per pound of body weight, be it around 100 to 300 calorie deficit every day. You won't lose strength, you won't lose power, you'll get lean, you'll get shredded. The other thing though is how much... Just got an order. Thank you. Who is it? Let's see. Josh. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. The other thing that has really given me so much peace, and I don't want to get really hippy-dippy about this, but look, I have a problem with food. I've been open about that. I think about food from the second I wake up to the second I go to sleep. I'm thinking about it all the time. I'm a food addict. And so whatever I can do to build boxes of security around that uh, helps me. If I was unrestricted and just had no box, I would be 600 pounds. I watch the My 600 Pound Life and I don't think, oh my God, ooh, how could you do that? Oh my God, ooh. I literally watch it and I go, I am so close to that. Because whatever is in here in my head, I have that. So counting calories allows me to be very objective and I've actually found such inner peace with it. If I didn't track these calories, uh, I might think, oh man, I need to eat way less. But I looked at what I'm doing, I measured everything out, I literally measured the rice, I measured the broccoli, and so, so then I'm like, well, dude, I can eat, I can eat four cups of rice. So I've got this freaking amazing bowl. So today I'm at 469 grams of carbs, 151 grams of protein, 68 grams of fat. And so right now that puts me at 3,073 calories in and Whoop has us at 3,200 calories out. Jacob was so cool. Like I, I really dug him. He was so ruthless like he's just getting sprayed in the face with water it's raining it's cold and he was just like keep going now we did have one other guy join us at the very end and he was just vital like he helped out so much one he helped out film and so these three guys i was it was they were my rider dies and i could not have done it without them literally like it's not just oh i couldn't have done it with a hundred percent not going to happen. Even if just one of them wasn't there, there's no way. So anyways, thank you so much for all the support. You ready to go get in bed and wrestle? I promise we're going to wrestle, okay? Yeah. Pinky yeah. promise. <laughs> Alrighty. As always, vegan cyclists. Yeah. yeah.